Ciao, I'm Eva and today I'm here to cook with you another very famous Italian recipe and what we are going to cook today is trenette al pesto or linguine al pesto. I know that a lot of you watched already the movie Luca from Disney Pixar so I bet that all of you are familiar with uh, this dish or at least with uh, the pesto. To make our trenette or linguine al pesto today we are going to use about 30 grams of good basil then uh, we will use about two tablespoons of pine nuts, half potatoes around 100 grams of green beans, one clove of garlic, about 50 grams of real parmigiano reggiano. I'm going to use coarse salt this time because it will help us to give the right texture to our pesto. And I'm going to cook about 160 grams of linguine or trenette. Another thing that is very important guys is the olive oil and be sure that your olive oil has a very low acidity otherwise your pesto will taste too strong and it's not very good. I'm going to use uh, this uh, mortar to make my pesto. I know that a lot of people uh, use a food processor or a blender. I did uh, also by myself but let's be honest guys how the pesto came out good with this tool doesn't come out with a food processor. So we are going to start with uh, the garlic and the pine nuts. And this because we need them to release their oil. But about the garlic, uh, always remember to cut the garlic in an half and try to take out the germ of the garlic. This is very important, otherwise your pesto will taste not like basil or like pesto, but just like garlic. We add the pine nuts and we start to mash. We want to create here a pesto of pine nuts and garlic. Guys, it's very important that when you make pesto, you, are, you have all your patience because uh, it's not a real fast food. <laughs> but it's also real that for the good things, uh, you need time. So <laughs> Now that we mashed the pine nuts and garlic together, is the moment in which we start to add our basil. So we put some leaves here and we use some salt because this will help us to crush our basil. And we start to crush the basil. Pesto alla Genovese, guys, it's a very good sauce also for a workout because let's be honest, after you make a pesto, you have uh, a muscle that you can't have if you go in the gym. Right now, guys, I had uh, I added all the basil, so it's the moment in which we start to add our Parmigiano cheese. I'm putting a small amount of cheese at the time and I start to mix all together because this is the moment in which we are creating that cream of pesto. Right now our pesto is more or less ready. What we miss is our olive oil. How much olive oil? All, all of us know that pesto has olive oil inside, but don't, don't think too much. So adding a little bit at the time, we will understand what's the right consistency that we want to reach. So just a small amount of the time. 
and we finish to mix. Our pesto is too thick, so need some olive oil to make it more smoothy. This is start to feel really, really good, but the only way in which I can understand if my pesto is good or not is these guys. How different is the pesto when you use the right tools you can't imagine. So try it and then you will write to me. Our pesto is ready. What we are going to do, we are going to cook our pasta. In my ingredients I told you that we are going to use green beans and potatoes. Not because I'm crazy, but because the real trenette al pesto, linguine al pesto in Liguria are made also with potatoes and green beans. I brought a pot of water to boiling, so now I'm adding the salt. I'm going to put in this water green beans, potatoes. I will cook them for uh, three, four minutes, no more, and then I will add my pasta. So after three minutes that uh, our green beans and potatoes are cooking, it's time to put uh, together our pasta. This is a very special recipe because as you can see we cook together pasta and vegetables. It's not the only recipe in Italy that follow these rules, but this is one of them. While our pasta cooks, uh, we need to take care of our pesto. And what we need to do, we need to transfer the pesto from here to a bowl. You don't need to take the pesto and put in a pot or in a pan and stir with the pasta because you will destroy it. So the pesto is a sauce that needs to be eaten. We need to eat it completely raw. So what we are going to do is just to add some pasta water to just make it a little bit more uh, liquid, more a sauce, and then we are going to drain the pasta and mix all together. This is the consistency that we want to reach. So as you can see, it's a sauce. And this wonderful pesto will go all on our pasta. And believe me, I can't wait because the smell of the real pesto is unbelievable. As always, guys, we are going to try our pasta to check if the salt is okay, if it's cooked or if maybe needs other uh, one, two minutes, we don't know, we will discover. My pasta needs other two minutes <laughs> and then it's ready. So it's time to transfer our pasta in, in the pesto. We mix the pasta and uh, this is the moment in which if we need some more pasta water we are going to add it and maybe mine needs a little bit more because my sauce is too thick and uh, believe me the smell here in this kitchen is uh, absolutely amazing. So our pasta is ready, we'll put the pasta in our dish. And guys, our uh, linguine or trenette al pesto with green beans and potatoes are uh, ready, so buon appetito!